Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hold the line! Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grux here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. In front of you, you see a massive blade. This is the Langren tank in a Slipner steel. Eight millimeters thick. Man, we are going to put this to the test. Legionnaires, it's that time again. It's inspection. What are you guys carrying? What is your EDC? What is your backup? Well, today I've got my Appaloosa from Rough Rider. This is one great looking blade. Just got it yesterday and needed to carry it into the woods. What do you guys and gals got? Veterans Active Military talk about a combat knife. Wait till you check out the close up. I just want to say thank you very much for your service. We really appreciate you guys and gals. Let us go over some quick specs. We are looking at an overall length of 12 inches, blade length of 6.14 inch. Blade material is a Slepner steel. Blade hardness is 62 HRC. Blade type is a drop point. Blade grind is a high saver flat grind. Blade thickness is a hefty 7.8 millimeters. With that heft, the blade weight is 1.12 pounds. With the sheath, it is 1.63 pounds. Handle length is 5.86 inch, and the handle material is a green G10. A few features, full tang, has jimping, lanyard hole, comes with a tan desert sheath with pouch, leather belt loop and accents. It does include a magnesium rod, and this whole thing is CNC machined, pretty badass. Let's check it out. All right, guys and gals. First of all, I want you to see how thick that is. That is insanely thick. That is approximately eight millimeters thick, man. This is gonna be great. We're definitely putting this knife to the test. Awesome drop point blade, high saber grind over here, flat saber grind. It does have a bit of a swedge up here. I was hoping and wishing that this would be full extended, but hey, look, it's still a pretty badass knife, and I can't wait to start chopping, okay? General, generous sharpening choil, all right? A little bit of light chimping. It's not too aggressive, unfortunately. It's a, it's a little slippery, so um, maybe if the designer takes a look at this, he may want to just roughen these up just a little bit more, but not a deal breaker whatsoever, all right? Beautifully contoured G10 handle, okay? It's got two finger grooves over here, and then another nice groove with a bird's beak type of a uh, handle protruding tang as you can see look how thick that is man <laughs> it does have a lanyard hole which i did put a lanyard on there just in case i want to test it out all right look at how beautifully done this knife is now the full tang just protrudes just a little bit above the g tang but it is consistent throughout the whole knife and it looks just fantastic all right, um, the edges, they're kind of rounded off. Uh, yeah, then they're, they're nicely, actually over here towards the front, it's a little bit more sharper. So, um, you know, maybe I'll spark up a ferro rod or test it out with some scraping of wood. But my God, this blade is just gorgeous and done so well. All right, Slepner steel, small logos from Langren. Okay, you can see it says Slepner does have a little bit of a guard over there which is always a good safety feature and the Langren logo all right let me put this down and I'll show you guys and gals the sheath it's a beautiful sheath it comes with a small pouch you could add a small knife um, maybe a small first aid kit or a uh, lighter of some sort in here but it, it is all leather all right it has leather accents it does come with this uh, magnesium rod. It's a little on the small side in my opinion, and I have it wrapped up so that it doesn't fall out, but I've got some bigger stuff in my backpack if I decide to use the, uh, the spine for some testing of that, uh, the ferro rod, and see if it's nice and sharp, which I think it is. Little pouch, not so bad. Let me open it up, but it's high quality leather. You know, it's not, uh, it's not no cheap leather, so it's nice and thick. I want you guys and gals to take a look at that. Kydex sheath is just amazing. It's thick, it's tough. It's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, it's just amazing. Beautiful uh, belt loop over here, snap. Let's put that knife in here. All right, look at that. Looks good. It's 
Sorry about this, troops, but the snap sometimes gives me a little bit of a tough time. There we go. Beautiful package. Nice and quiet. It ain't going anywhere. This would be an awesome combat knife, a gift to a soldier, a marine, sailor, you know, you name it. Those guys and gals would appreciate something as badass as, as this. I'll leave a link in the uh, description in the comments section to Amazon. You can go check it out and see if this is a knife for you. But now let's get it to work. All right, Legionnaires, we are going to battle, okay? I've got a whole bunch of different uh, logs I want to test out with this chopping and cut baton and etc. So let's put this to work and uh, we'll get started. I've got a nice uh, garden post over here, pressure treated. Okay, let me just put that down and uh, let me try it with the lanyard on. Okay, I've got my two fingers al already at the end of the handle. Let's go, let's go. All right, we're ready. We're already started and this thing is massive, man. Now I'm gonna try holding the, the handle with uh, my whole grip, see how that works out. Okay. Fantastic. So far, for those deep, deep cuts. Now, even though it's got a thick spine, the the grind, the saber grind, is a nice, beautiful V shape to the blade. And it's just, as you could see already, you know, digging in. You know, it's just pretty awesome so far. And we just got started. All right. All right, look at that. Just eating away at the flat surface. Now this is definitely a hard piece of wood right here. It's dried out a bit. Since I got it, I think it's a good start to a, a heavy duty test for such a blade, you know? Now troops, this is gonna be a long video because I am curious myself how this is going to work out. And I definitely want to document it, you know? Nice. Nice. Look at that. Just eating away. Just eating away. All right, let's start the other side. <laughs> There's chunks all over the place. The debris, the debris field is getting big already. Nice. All right, let's do some side shots over here so you guys can take a look at how deep this is going in. Just cutting everything up. Nice. A hard piece of wood for sure, and it is getting through. Awesome. All right. It's going to be a tiring day, troops. It's going to be a tiring day because I do plan on testing this out. Very comfortable, firm grip, you know, pretty good. I'm going to get a little bit more leverage. I'm going to get towards the rear of the G10 handle over here. Still, the grip is pretty good with that little bird's beak. Again, I'm gonna use every part of the blade I possibly can. Excellent. There we go. That's part one of this chopping session. All right, troops, before I get to chopping another log, I wanna go through this thing. This thing, let me just show you, is a dense piece of wood. This was actually used to cut 
take this baton for me, okay, by one of the groundskeepers over here. So I just want to go through this, you know. I want to see what it'll do right off the bat, and then I'm going to continue chopping a huge log, okay. I'm going to use the whole width of the blade. All right. That's a nice split. Let's continue. Oh, geez, it was nothing. That was nothing. And I'm telling you guys and gals, this is, this is a dense, heavy piece of wood, you know, and I just needed to, I just wanted to give it a go, you know, I just wanted to try it out. Let's see, let me see one more time. Actually, let me get the thicker piece here. All right. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, look at that split. Yeah, I wish I wish you guys could appreciate how dense this log is. It's insanely dense, man. Um, actually, let me just keep on going so you guys get a good look at everything. And then after you get the initial split, it becomes easy to do the rest here, you know? So that's pretty cool. Let's see. All right, we're still cutting, we're still good. I'm gonna get a nice big log. We're gonna chop through that log next. Legionnaires, I have an insanely thick and long log that I'm going to chop up for future videos, okay? I figure this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna do a combination of chopping and batoning with this. It's gonna be a while, so let's get started. Okay, got my baton. Got the knife. First, I'm going to do a little bit of chopping, see how she works out. I'm going to put the lanyard back on. The handle seems to be fine and dandy. So let's, let's, you know what? Let me get a good angle. Get the sun in here. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, this is a hard piece. Nice. After this, we'll test out the edge retention. Look at that, already chopping through, okay? Now, look, those that are new to my channel, I own a ax, I own a saw, it's in my backpack, troops, okay? I am just doing this to do testing of this knife. Oh, yeah. This is a nice hard piece of wood. Nice. It's a heavy piece, so it's going to stand nice and still for me. I'm going to just do different angles. All right. You can see, putting this baby to the test. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the initial cutting of the uh, pressure treated wood and that really dense half a log, man. That was, I thought that was awesome the way it just split it with no problem. Already getting through the core, so that's good. You guys must think I'm, I'm nuts, but you know what? It's such a thick blade. It's such a, you know, an awesome blade. And the, uh, the owner did give this to me to try out, you know, and test it out for him. So you know what? I got to honor that. Wow. Those are some big chunks, lots of debris flying all over the place. Nice. Nice. Very nice. 
All right, let's keep going. Now I'll probably be taking breaks here and there. Gotta watch my health. You know. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully you guys and gals are gonna see some of the deep cuts in this in this uh, log. All right. Look at that chunk. Beautiful. That was a nice chunk. Look at that. That's great. And so far, looking at the blade right now, no chips, no dents, no nothing. Well, no sense in uh, talking. Proof is by doing. As you guys and gals can tell, this is no uh, show and tell type of uh, channel. This is do or die. This is a heart of battle. Okay. Yeah. This is awesome. Look at all that debris. I'm going to be batoning in a bit. Okay. I'm going to just take a little break. And what we're going to do while I'm taking that break is do an edge retention test. And I'm going to keep everything in camera so you guys and gals can see. All right. This way the log doesn't roll around. And I have some bark over here. Nice little stick. Let's see if we can get rid of this bark. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. A little finesse work. End of that blade. The middle of that blade. Whew. Now I'm going to just make some slivers over here. And again, I'm just doing this. Not only show you the edge retention, but I gotta take a break, troops. Okay, good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. We'll continue on like that. Okay, let me just clean that up a little bit. Let me just put this lanyard back on. And now let's continue. Nice. Nice. So listen, if there's any other knife manufacturers out there watching my channel and you are interested in having me test out your blade and prove its worth, I won't disappoint you guys and gals. Okay? I will not disappoint you. If you feel that your blade can hold up to these type of testing, real world outdoor testing, you know, allow me to honor you by testing this out for you guys and gals. I would love to. I've got plenty of wood over here. And it'll be great. All right, look at that. <laughs> All right. Look at that so far. Look at that. That knife just did that. All right, now let's do a little, let's do a little batoning, huh? What do you think? I'm gonna do a little batoning. Make sure that you guys and gals could see what I'm doing here. Because I want it all on camera, I want it all documented. Ah. All right, look how deep that's in. That's in. That's awesome. Nice. Let's keep going.
It's another deep one. Look at that. Beautiful. Definitely chipping away. Sorry about that. Troop's got a little sweat in my eye. I gotta get rid of this. I don't know if you guys and gals can see that, but look how deep that that just went in just by batoning. And the blade is looking good. All right. Pardon my heavy breathing. Okay. That's awesome. Let me just keep on doing this. Oh. <laughs> Again, I really appreciate those watching all the way through. You guys and gals are pretty awesome. We're almost to 5,000 troops, you know. And look at that. Look at a chunk coming out. And uh, I'm really excited. I think I plan on doing my first giveaway, which is going to be an Odin Wolf uh, W machete. All right. Let's see if I can chunk this out for you guys and gals. Nice. Ah. beast beast mode i think uh i think we have an advantage in this battle hopefully i'm doing you guys justice by uh by the video take another break here in a second because I've got sweat in my eyes. Oh. And we're going to do a retention test in a second or two. So, so far halfway chopped. And halfway baton. Awesome. Can't, can't deny that this knife is kicking some ass right now. All right. All right. All right. This is the edge of where I was batoning and chopping. It's just a little on the awkward side, troops. Bear with me. I appreciate you sticking this long. All right. Look how deep that is, okay? I'm not fooling around over here. This isn't any kind of camera trickery. And I am really, really excited, you know, to show you guys and gals this. Look at that. Okay. Let me put this down. You guys and gals got a good view. Let me just get, let me just wipe my eyes. And I will get that, uh, that piece of wood, and we'll do a retention test. There we go. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Looking good. Real nice. Just shaving off that bark. No problem. All right, tip. <laughs> that tip is so thick, it'll just split the wood, you know? All right, that's awesome. Let's see if I can give you some thin, thin curls here. There you go, look at that. There you go. See that, troops? Yep, all right, we're looking good. I got my break in. Let's uh, 
at that. Let's just keep going. I might go back to chopping a little bit. Um, maybe some more baton. And why not? It's just that this thing is a little on the awkward side and it's rolling around on me. So I'm just having the, the knife kind of like grab the wood. Nice. Okay. Just make sure that you guys are seeing this. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at those chunks. I know it's going to be long, but I think it's going to be well worth it to prove to you guys and gals that this knife is a competition killer. This will take on any blade you guys and gals got. See, now it would have definitely have been better if this was full all the way, that little bit thicker. You know, it would have, it would have helped me, aided me in getting through this log. But, uh, you know, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. Let me go back to doing a little bit of chopping. Just switch things up a bit. Still eating away. Still eating away. There's debris flying all over the place. We're just uh, kicking some ass. I apologize for that. I just had to wipe some of the sweat. And we're going to use this piece to do the rest of the baton. And I'm just going to keep on going and test this thing. So again, it's going to be long, you know. We're almost through. I'm pretty excited. Ah, look at that. Look at these chunks. Nice. Here we go. Here's a nice gap over here that we could just take out. Yep. Look at that. Woo. That is something. Come on. That is impressive, man. That's impressive for a knife. I don't know of any other content creator who will take these kind of uh, lengths to get done, except for maybe scabs at Choir Boys Cutlery. But I don't know of any other content creator out there who will put, you know, their knives to the test. And this is some knife to put to the test. We're almost through. I need that money shot. Yeah! Langren Tank. Badass. There it is, troops. Before I clean this off and start batoning that piece of wood, I wanted you guys and gals to check that out. Look how thick that is. Now, let me show you the edge of this knife, all right? I have done nothing to it, okay? That edge is looking fine, all right? No chips, no rolls, no bends, no dings, no dangs. Badass. Badass. Now, let's continue. Oh my God, man. Look, look at my baton. This thing is a tough ass baton, but it's taken its beating from that blade. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to try to do a vertical baton. Hopefully it'll work. It's a little bit smaller of a blade. 
And if not, oh yeah, that's tough. Woo! I will do the horizontal work because you know that'll take this to task. Yeah, uh, blade is a little on the short side. I was hoping that it would split it right off the bat, but yeah, you know, let's see if I can get it a little more. Ah, my baton is just getting massacred. All right, we got to change up some tactics. Okay. All right, just want to make sure that I have this all on camera. Let's do this. All right, look at that. Even the, the guard is going into the wood, so you know I'm not fooling around here. All right. Let me just turn this over. All right. Just got to be careful. I don't want this thing flinging up. Whew. That is in there, troops. There we go. Let's move. Again, this is not a dry piece of wood. This is just freshly cut. This is not seasoned. This thing is just taking a beat. And that's what I wanted to show you guys and gals. All right. Let's keep going. Oof, that's in there, but good. Whoops. Let me just pick that up and I'll get right back to you. Let's try the other side where the split is. Okay, you see that where that split is? I'm just going to continue right from that area. There we go. All right. Split. Nice. Nicely done. Let's keep on going. I think that's where the split. No, it's a little bit different. Well, you know what? I don't care. We're here to test out this knife. I don't really care how it works out. I'm just giving it a beat and look. Starting to split on that side. Look at the split over here. Awesome. My baton is taking a thrashing. Oh, that's in there, but good. Let's try it a different way. All right, troops. There we go. There we go. I just want to be safe. Make sure I don't screw things up for myself. All right. Let's see how else I'm going to tackle this. Uh, blade is looking good, man. Blade is looking good. Let me see if I could, you know, maybe use blade halfway in, halfway out type of deal. There we go. <clears throat> She's splitting. Just gonna keep on going. We done do it. Awesome. I'm pretty satisfied with that, man. Come on. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That knife just took a serious beating. Okay, let's do some easier work now. I wanna make some feather sticks here. I got some nice long stick. I'm gonna shorten it up a little bit. All right, just chop it. Easy. So you can at least do the finer work. You know that you can do the finer work with this. All right. Talk about utility combat, man. Let me tell you guys and gals. There we go. 
still sharp over here. All right, look at that. That's the front part of the blade, the middle part of the blade. Let me just check this knot off. Looking good. All right, just a little example. Okay, look at that. Look at the curls right now that I'm making. There you go. Try different parts of the blade over here. It's a little awkward, but I just want to show you guys that I am digging in over here. There we go. So, definitely not a dull blade. Kind of curious. All right, the spine. Look at that. Making some shavings. Nice. That's awesome. So, at least we know that you could uh, crank up a ferro rod. Let's try a different part of the blade. Yep, look at that. Look at that. That's excellent. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that fluff. I, I got to tell you, I didn't expect that, but it did a good job. All right. So now let's, uh, let's make some feather sticks. Some finesse work, right? Nice. Nice. Great. Beautiful. All right. Got a little finesse work done. Let's make this into quarters. Let me put this down somewhere. Let's make this into quarters. No problem. All right, there we go. Let's see what we could do here. Again, this is gonna be a long one. So if you guys wanna get the full idea of how this thing works, just watch it all. Look at that. Making curls galore after that beat. Sorry, troops. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Even though it's a thick blade, it's still pretty manageable. Let me try it a different way. It always seems to be a better way of doing it sometimes, depending on how thick or thin the blade is. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, that's a bummer. All right, I'll pick that up in a second. I want to make a nice feather stick for you guys. I got to do that for the ending. Look at the curls on that. All right, troops, check this out, man. All right, look at that. Show you in the camera. After the beating that it got. All right? All right, cool, man. What else is there more to say? Total juggernaut. Unstoppable. This knife is insanely good. It's insanely good. You want something heavy duty? You've got it.
they created it. The designer at Langren, man, he did name this the right name. It's a tank for sure. Fantastic troops. You see everything in front of you. I did with that one knife. Sick, insane. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you made it up to this point. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and active military out there that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video will be slides that you guys and gals can pause on. Also, a heartfelt message from a legionnaire, Martin Miller. He was a Vietnam veteran, U.S. Army, 66 to 69. He has been there. He has done that. And he has gone through what you guys and gals are possibly going through. Please read his message and seek the help that you all have earned and deserve. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. I'm good. At the ready, troops, hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires! Woo!